Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of The Sneaker Firm. Today I got another review for you guys. Um, first off, before I start off with the sneaker, I just want to kind of apologize for not putting out as much content um, as I normally have. I'm going to make a commitment that after this video, I'm going to be posting at least one to two videos out a week, um, if not more. Um, so stay tuned because I've been kind of slacking and I really shouldn't be, um, but I have. So we're just going to keep it rolling um, from here on out, one to two videos a week. Um, at a minimum, if not more. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I want to just keep kind of going from my last previous videos, which were the SpongeBob pack. Um, so we're gonna keep moving with those. So moving on with the Nike Kyrie 5 Low Sandy Cheeks. Um, now, if you guys know, she's one of the main characters in the SpongeBob show. And I think with this sneaker, they did a great job adding a lot of small details um, that I didn't notice until I already looked at it. Um, so looking at the shoe, you got the all white upper which is inspiration from her astronaut suit, which she wears in the show because she can't breathe underwater. Um, so that's why this is all white. You got these stripes here, which I believe are the stripes are on her sleeves. You got this nice gray Nike swoosh. And then at the top here, you got the flower, which is at the top of her helmet. I thought that was a pretty cool touch. You move on to the midsole, which is a nice light gray. Um, towards the back, you got this red dot. Um, and that's supposed to resemble the boot. Actually, this whole gray midsole is supposed to resemble her boots. Um, and then the dot is on her boot as well, which is pretty cool. And I'll be posting a picture of her right here so you guys get an image of that. On the back here, you got the Acorn logo, um, which I think is another cool detail. That's the Acorn logo that's on her uniform. Um, once again, you guys will be seeing a picture of that when I upload the video but I think that's definitely a cool touch. On the medial side, you got this gray swoosh down here towards the midsole. So moving on to the laces, you got all white laces. Um, there's no Nickelodeon branding on the front here like the Kyrie 5 highs did. Um, they just left this kind of plain. You got the all white tongue with your red Kyrie branding. One cool thing is that they added like this fur on the tongue here. I definitely think that's pretty awesome. Um, definitely cool to see that kind of detailing um, on the sneaker, real cool. On the back of the tongue, you got the Nickelodeon branding. You got the brown sock liner, which is supposed to resemble her fur. And then you got Sandy's face here on the insole. And on the right pair, you got Texas. Um, if you guys watched the show, you guys know that she was always talking about how great that state was and always referencing back to it. She's gone. Yeah, what's so great about dumb old Texas? What did you say? Texas is dumb? I didn't talk too much about the outsole, um, but you got your regular Kyrie 5 outsole there in like a platinum gray, per se. It's very light. Um, definitely a nice sneaker in my opinion. I'm going to give you guys an up-close look at it, and I'll be right back. And that's how I really happy these guys. Just want you guys to see my latest pickup. Um, definitely a nice sneaker in my opinion. A lot of small details in this sneaker that I love. Um, the fur on the tongue actually caught me by surprise when I was really looking at them. I didn't expect to see that. And you couldn't really see that in pictures online before release. So I think that definitely a nice touch. I know I didn't talk too much about the materials on these sneakers, um, but I believe this is a fly knit upper on this one, all white. Um, real nice. Um, I'm actually, I'd be scared to wear these because I feel like, you know, the smallest speck of dust or anything will get these dirty. Um, definitely a nice sneaker in my opinion, nice and clean. And I think even though it's a simple colorway, it'll turn heads just because of some of the detailing. Price point on these is 110, which isn't too bad. 
Um, I think that's definitely a nice price point for this sneaker considering how much prices are for other sneakers as well out there in the market. So 110 isn't too bad. Cause stay tuned because I do have more videos on the way. Like I said, I'm committing to at least one or two videos per week moving forward and you guys can kick my ass if I don't commit to that. But we're gonna be doing that. So let's keep it moving. I do have a few things that just came in. So I'll be keeping it rolling with the videos. Um, like always guys, thanks for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.